everyone and welcome back to another Cholton video. Today we do have a little bit of a brief one, uh, just there was some big news announced today transfer wise and that is of course that Jay De Silva has signed another uh, sort of extension to his loan for another season. He's going to be with us after just winning the under 19 Euros with England and captain in that side in fact. Uh, so a fantastic signing, definitely fills our sort of fullback, left back void that we had. Um, you know, we had Aaron Barnes, Regan Charles Cook sort of covering in some of the preseason games and it just showed that we didn't have quite enough in the fullback positions and we've now got one fullback a, a very good left back our a you know our primary target for the left back position but we still probably do need another fullback or right back um unless aaron barnes is considered that right back as i've spoke about countless times in in some of these videos but um i still think even if aaron barnes does want to come through the season he needs some healthy competition you know Solly definitely can't do sort of 46, 48 games, whatever. Uh, so it's, it's a bit of a tricky situation that you want to bring a youngster through, but you also need perhaps a utility man. I've also considered like Nathan Byrne in my head would be a perfect signing for us uh, to get him back on. And I think Charlton fans really in, uh, enjoyed seeing him play last season for, for half a season on loan. And I don't think he's going to get, I don't know if he's going to get much game time at Wigan. And obviously he can operate on that wing or at right back. So he would be a really good sort of utility or not utility man, but a versatile player that could fill that uh, void. But I don't think that's actually been officially considered or, you know, I don't think it's something that Robinson wants to get done. I don't know if it's something that can be done. So uh, it's a great, it's a great sign. And are we still short though? Yes, um, Jay De Silva signs. We are still short though. It kind of fizzled out that we were going to sign De Silva. It looked a little bit more negative. You know, in the last video, we covered the potentially signing Goldborn off of Bristol Rovers, I think, um, or Bristol City. So it looked like we were going to be getting our B target and, you know, championship clubs were going to snap up De Silva. But luckily, we have been patient. We have got it done. And I think a lot of Charlton fans are very, very pleased. I think Louis Mendes summed it up perfectly when he said that this is another piece to the jigsaw that we needed and we just hope that by the time the transfer window sort of ends and the season starts, um, or even just, not even when the transfer ends, when the season starts really, we want all our players in or, you know, all bar maybe one player in maximum so that we can go into the season, you know, kick off strong from the get-go. You know, De Silva could be playing uh, tomorrow against Stevenage, so stay tuned for that. You know, we might get to see him in action again. But as I say, yes, we are still short. So I think in order of importance, we probably need, I mean, first and foremost, a goalkeeper. That situation a bit odd. You know, you, you tend to build the spine first of your team. You tend to build from the back. So the fact that a goalkeeper hasn't been signed, that needs to get done very, very soon. Whether that's Jed Steer on loan or whether that is David Martin, Apparently, David Martin kind of said, oh, I want to play at championship level, supposedly. That's not official, but I think that that potentially is what was the stumbling block in that uh, in that deal there. Bit odd, you know, Robinson came out and said, you know, you can play at a high level if you want. So I respect Martin, essentially was his overall message. But, you know, I think that kind of made Charlton fans a bit unhappy in terms of he came on our tour and then it's all of a sudden he's, he doesn't want to sign. So that's when Jed Steer came into the picture. We covered him last time. Would be a decent loan signing, but obviously, ideally, Charlton fans don't want to see too many loans. We want to see permanent signings. I think a central midfielder is the next most important position we need to address, or, or not a central midfielder, more of a sort of a, a box to box or, an, or, a, or even a number 10, you could say. Ben Reeves, still nothing happening on that front at the moment. It still could be done. He hasn't been, he hasn't been given a squad number by MK Dons this uh, season when they've and, and they've now announced their squad numbers so he wasn't their number 10 so you know it, Reeves could be going I hope that we get him but it, it's taking quite a long time whether we had to be patient because obviously Sabayos has exited obviously Texera has exited and a Jose as well maybe we had to free up some wages for him and that can get done soon and then Josh Wright was another one who obviously started his career at Charlton Mark Wright's brother the reality TV star and he, yeah, he came back to us on loan, I think, at some point as well. He was decent. He's, he's, he's picked up his career. He played for Mill. He played for Gillingham. And he's been scoring a few goals lately. And he looks like he could be a decent signing if we don't get Reeves. So let's see what happens there. I think that's our second most important. We also do need a striker, in my opinion. A striker who has a proven track record. We have been not necessarily linked, but Carl Robinson has been asked about Chris Long of Burnley, the 22-year-old who started his career at Everton. Obviously, Scouse link somewhere there. Hasn't been too prolific throughout his career. Obviously, he's only 22. Robinson did say that's not something that we've looked at in terms of actually getting a deal done, but he is an admirer. Then, obviously, Stefan Mavadidi is also that deal is sort of lingering in the background might get done. I would hope that it's neither of those. I mean, Mavadidi, I would love to see come, but I would love him to be like a bonus player. I think that having lost to Jose and him being the only proven prolific goal scorer in our team, I think that we need another prolific goal scorer or, or, or a, a player who at least has, has had some sort of spell of being prolific in his career. Uh, then I would say probably a winger. Cameron Stewart, the obvious candidate, you know, he's been he's been with us. The deal hasn't been done yet. Supposedly, we were meant to know on Monday whether that deal had been done, but 
that was what the club said, or that, that was what I think Robinson or the club said. I can't quite remember, but that is not been that's not been done yet. We haven't heard anything. He has been continuing to play with us. He he was on the bench against Dover Athletic in the week. So also a right back is probably the last position I think the least important position that we need now, in my opinion, just because we've got Barnes coming through because Regan Charles Cook can play there. And I think, you know, that's a position where if we lose someone, we have cover, whether it's, you know, the ideal cover or not. Again, Nathan Byrne would be my ideal utility man. You look at Naby Saar, potentially, I mean, he was spoken about by Robinson, said that he has been good in preseason. He's impressed him. He definitely is in contention. He could be considered to be uh, selected by Robinson. But if he goes, which isn't out of, you know, out of the realms of possibility, then we would definitely be looking short in that centre-back position there. Having lost Texera and, you know, having Harry Lennon at the club but injured and not included in any of the preseason squads so far. You know, Robinson said he wanted four uh, signings before we lost Texera, Ceballos and Jose. Not to say that those three weren't expected to go, but he did specifically say, Robinson, if players go, we need players to come in and replace the players that have gone. So that hasn't necessarily happened so far in terms of, you know, Robinson said we need four signings and then we lost three players and then he still, still said we need four signings. So not ideal unless, you know, it was implied within his original message that we're going to lose players like Ceballos and some of the players coming back on loan. Good to see that some of the ones that, you know, don't really want to play for us, like Ceballos, um, I, I mean, Texera wanted to play for us, but he was a big earner, obviously. He had all the sort of weight with him of, of the of the mistakes made by Mayor and Roland. And to ship some of those players off, I definitely think our squad is stronger this season, especially in terms of the midfield, for one, and also in terms of players that actually want to be at Cheltenham, which is really, really good to see. We do still suffer, though, from a bit of a thin squad, in my opinion. So, Robinson was quoted, this is just a last little point, Robinson was quoted in uh, the Kent, Kent Live, which I'm not sure how reliable this source is. I've been, you know, I've looked at it occasionally, I'm not sure how reliable this is as a, as a source, but apparently he's been quoted as saying that we might, he, he kind of stuttered when he was asked about getting more signings in and essentially said that we might get one or might get one or two more done before the start of the season, which was, it was a pretty short and sweet article. You can see it here on the screen and I don't know, it kind of makes me think, oh, that's not very good. Maybe he's not getting the back in. The ultimate message is, A, we don't want panic loans in. We want, if we make new, more signings and we need more signings, we need them to be hopefully permanent players. I wouldn't mind to see one more loan, hopefully not a goalkeeper. Um, I hope we keep Phillips and I hope we sign a new goalkeeper permanently. If we do get a loan, not the end of the world, but not ideal. And, um, you know, we don't want to go in with like four more loans. Uh, you know, like l last year we had Alverstad, Byrne, other players on loan, De Silva, etc., Mavadidi. And, you know, we don't want that. We want players that are playing for their shirt, that are playing for their future. So that's one thing. Uh, but, but it's great that we've, you know, kept our main targets this summer. Or not our main targets, but rather our players that we needed to keep, such as Holmes. You know, Arebo and Konsa so far, we've kept. They're still Charlton players. Don't want to speak too soon but you know I hope and I think that they will stay with us at the beginning of the season at least last season obviously we went into the season a bit weak in midfield but okay in most other areas you know we were pretty optimistic and then all of a sudden we hit a bit of bad form changed our manager and come January we had to sign some panic loans like Byrne and Mavadidi etc and lost sort of Lookman and Fox never really reinvested that money uh, so let's hope that that doesn't happen this season I'm kind of more optimistic like I said I think the players are more suited to you know fighting for the badge and I think we've got more Cholton players and certainly stronger if you look at you know if one player comes out of a position or gets injured the next player to come in is definitely nowadays more strong and sort of like more of a first team option and not just a backup. Having acquired some of our A targets, the Silva, Marshall, Billy Clark, I think that's a good sign as well. But of course, the ultimate thing is that we just do need more signings and good signings. This is like the the real test for us now. This is the most important stretch of the transfer window, if you like. If we can get our t if we can get Reeves in and a goalkeeper and a striker, I'll be happy as Larry. But uh, I wonder what you think. So make sure you leave your comments down below. Make sure you leave a like as always. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I want to see more Cholton content. Sorry, I've been a bit quiet this week. We are having a lot more uploads. I've, I've been planning some things for next week. Uh, there's a Cholton FIFA series coming. It's called the Ultimate Rebuild. That'll be really cool. And also, I'm going to try and improve this series a little bit make it more regular, maybe try and brand it, give it a name. But yeah, as always, leave a like, subscribe, make sure you comment down below any sort of opinion or whatever you have on the situations. Obviously, we've got the new kit, which we'll talk about next week, uh, and a couple of other things we're going to touch on. But thank you very much for watching. As I place my notes down, there's another video right here, and I'll see you next time. Sweet.